Welcome again, SSR viewers. Uh, this is video number two in the Dump the Bob series. And Bob meaning, for most people, bug out bags, but in my case, bug out box, or as you can see before you, the bug out bucket. I recently read one of the posts that someone said that uh, they, they didn't think that a round bucket was a good idea because it, it, it doesn't give for enough space. And I think it was more for stackability, not square, not smooth edge, and so forth. But we're going to go. I carry two five gallon buckets plus my two containers. We're going to go through this first one. Uh, you can notice that one time this bucket was red or orange and white. I tried painting it green. Uh, yeah, painting might have been a bad idea. But I use these, these gamma lids. I get my gamma lids. I've gotten them from eBay for the five to seven gallon bucket. When you open them up on the inside, they've got a rubber ring to help them be airtight, sealed. And so I can't say they're fully airtight or waterproof, but they're pretty well water resistant and everything I've ever put in them have dry. So when we start looking at what is in this one, in my green container, I have right here, is, this is a, basically a fire starting kit. Uh, like I said, everything in my kits are redundant. This allows me to go someplace and if necessary, if the wife can't get there with her gear, we have the same equipment I would have had if she came and I didn't have my gear. So this is just an OtterBox waterproof container that I can't remember where I got. I think I got them from my nephew. Uh, I carry a little canister like this with matches. It's, a, it's airtight waterproof. Zippo lighter, really nice. But if anybody of you have ever known a Zippo, you put fluid in there inside three to five days, that fluid evaporates off. So I can, I can flip this one open and flick, flick, flick. It ain't gonna light, but I carry also, uh, I do have Zippo that I can carry along. This is, uh, in here is hemp twine. Uh, it's good for a fire starter. You can actually unravel it. And I do carry, these are mantles. And the reason I carry mantles is I have a horde of um, Coleman lanterns that I have acquired over a period of time. Uh, my wife thinks I'm basically a, Col a Coleman lantern junkie. I think I have nine of them at this point. And um, if you needed a mantle, because that's the most fragile part of a Coleman is their mantle. So we'll close that, set that aside. And as you look in, this is a product that I got out of um, from Creek Stewart's group uh, in his Apocra box. And it's basically, it's a multi-use survival tool that works out to be a hatchet and a few other things uh, once you put, the, you put the screws in. Depending on how you mount the head is what you can do with it. And inside here is a beveled edge. So, push come, push come to shove. It's a basic um, hatchet for simple you know, chopping of kindling and the like. Uh, in this bag here, I have a number of these pouches. Hold on. Sorry about all the moving guys. And I keep stuff in here. This is just extra first aid gear that I have that I've come across over a period of time in my profession. I keep that. And then we keep looking down in. Okay. This is uh, SOL, which means surviving outdoors um, longer. This is an emergency bivy. And basically what it is, it's a giant thermal sleeping bag. And according to this, it's a two person. So you take your two sleeping bags, slip them in here, and close this up around. And it really stores body heat so that um, you guys can survive out, especially in the cold. If you can't get a fire, uh, that's a good thing to have. What else we got in here? I just lost my light. Um, in here, in this pouch, I have, you know, if you're going to have light when you're out, one way to do it is by candle. And you can get these can this candle uh, here. It's a candelabra more than anything else. Slips open like so. You can hang it. And I carry spare candles with it. There's three of them here, which they're kind of like stuck together. We'll put them together later. But that's one option for light, other than the uh, Coleman lanterns I was telling you about. Now, this. This piece here 
and this piece here go together. Now I'm not going to pull them out, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about them. It's from a company called Grand Trunk. And uh, you can see it there and here. In here, this is a, a this is a actual camping hammock. Now, for those of you who know me, uh, well, I'm a pretty well-rounded guy. I think I go five foot seven, 270 pounds. This sleep, this hammock, once it's slung up between two trees, will hold 400 pounds off the ground. It also has a self-contained uh, bug netting, and so that you can actually, in the summertime, you could. You could just sleep out under the sun. If you know it's not going to rain, you can sleep under the stars and not be worried about getting eaten by the mosquitoes. And this is just an extra set of tree uh, mounts. It's a sling that goes around a tree, so it doesn't damage a tree when you're hanging the, the um, when you decide to use the hammock itself. The last thing I have in here comes in this. Well, there's a couple other odds and ends in there. Comes in this is from Aqua Quest. Uh, it is a, I believe this one is a 10 by 13 or a 10 by 14. It's a 100% waterproof um, tarp, and it has made with. And I'll, I'll put I'll, I'll put up a link on one of the posts to both the Grand Trunk and the AquaQuest. In the AquaQuest, the, it, the seams are, are sewn. They've got reinforced uh, rings on the ends as well as. Um, places you can hang throughout so it's not a typical tarp like the one I had shown up on the on the pictures that's gray and silver and what do we have in here left always this is a k-bar version of the Marine Corps uh, fighting knife it's a smaller of the k-bars right there I mean if you want to take and think of it this way compared to those candles I carry, there's, there's at least one knife in all my containers just in case the one I carry on my everyday kit is missing. Now I carry, my everyday carry, I carry um, a Kershaw, which is like this. It is a folding knife and you press in this way and it locks over. You can open it with one finger. That's the one I carry in my pocket every day. And lastly, here's a cook kit. This is a Stanley Cook Kit. This is one of my recent items that I purchased. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> Squeeze the handles, pop it open. This lid has is, is got holes in it so that you can drain water off. It comes with, this can function as a lid or a plate. There's two of those. Okay, also comes with spatula and it comes with a ladle nice instructional book and two bowls right here two bowls and then this pot itself holds uh, let me see 473 milliliters as it says on the side right there so that way uh, you've got a way to cook something uh, boil water in case you're, you, you need to um, if, you, if you need to boil water so you can drink it there's another way of doing it and this all packs together like so, nice and easy. So these are the things I carry 